everybody, this is Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So lately a few of you have purchased from the Sweet Skies Collection and I want to make sure that um, I share some tips and tricks with you on how to use those cloud overlays. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I'm working on a duplicate image and um, you can see that in this image of my daughter at the beach the sky isn't exactly blown out but it's just not very interesting um, and so I want to add a cloud overlay so the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I'm working on a duplicate image then I'm going to go to file go down to place and it goes ahead and opens um, my image files for sweet skies and you will just navigate to wherever you have those files stored and I'm going to go down I like sweet teal I want to say I use it on 80 percent of my images because I kind of just like that vintage look and so it's going to place the skies on my image okay I want to click the check mark up here to um, place it on there Alright, so now it is on my image, but you can see that it totally blocks the image. So I want to go over here to my move tool, and I want to move the image. Now you can see that the horizon line is skewed here, and so I'm going to need to place my clouds right on the horizon line. So you just go ahead and find wherever that fits perfectly. You just kind of have to mess with it until you get it right. Looks like I'm going to have to make my clouds just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to find a handlebar down here and press the shift Key, and I'm going to hold down the shift key while I drag the image and this will constrain the proportions of the image make sure it doesn't get weird for lack of a better word so I think right here looks good I'm going to click the check mark So there's a couple ways to do this. Obviously, this doesn't look right. Um, it's a little bit too bold for the image and I need to take it down a notch. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple tricks that I use to do this and um, the first one is to come over to the blending modes, make sure that I have the um, cloud overlay layer selected and I'm gonna go and check darker color. Okay, this is going to place the clouds behind the darker color. And um, that, it looks pretty good. And um, what I want to do is take down the opacity just a little. And then um, if I were going to leave it on darker color, blending mode I need to um, go ahead and use the eraser tool just click on it it's gonna um, say that it needs to be rasterized before proceeding just press OK and I'm gonna use a just use a 100% eraser to take this off Okay, it's mostly behind the darker colors, so we want to kind of maintain these sharp edges. Just prevents you from getting the halo effect. Looks like my brush um, is a really hard brush, so I want to make sure that I'm using a very soft brush. Go down to about 20% on the hardness. And that should be right. 
So it looks like it's behind the fingers over here. I don't need to do much for that. Um, but you do have this um, harsh line right here where the edge of the image meets um, the horizon line. So we need to go ahead and take that off. So I'm going to choose a 60% brush and just kind of paint along the edges to get rid of that harsh line. Now I'm going through this very quickly um, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, usually I would just spend a little bit of time. Um, make sure that it's off this little ribbon thing here. Okay, so it's definitely um, on the horizon and off of the subject. So I want to turn it down a tiny bit here. Okay, so you can see that this still does not look like a realistic sky. Um, the clouds are way too sharp. The water is um, has a nice look to it and um, out of focus and the sky is very much in focus. So the way that we solve this problem is by applying a blur. So I want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, click that and it's going to pull up an editor for you. So right now um, it looks like this radius is set to 19.6 and um, it looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. If you want it to be more blurred, you can take that up. Now it's totally blurred and that doesn't do much good. So let's take it down. Take it back up to about 20. There we go. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and flatten. So go to layer, flatten the image. And I'll just run um, spring clean on this to show you guys how it all comes together. Okay, so um, if I was going to move forward, I would go ahead and work within these spring clean layers, but I really just want to show you um, how the cloud layer is blended in and um, how once you apply some other actions, it brings the colors out a little bit. Um, so let's see where we started. This is where we started. You can see that the sky is very uninteresting and this is where we ended once we um, placed the sky. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you can find all of our products including the Sweet Skies collection at www.magicandlightcollection.com.